U.S. poet laureate Maya Angelou is being remembered. She passed away at her North Carolina home Wednesday morning. The 86-year-old author and poet rose from poverty and segregation to become not only an acclaimed poet and novelist, but also a civil rights activist, educator, and historian. Here's Chris Clackham with reaction to her death and more on the legacy she leaves behind. Calling her, quote, one of the brightest lights of our time, a brilliant writer, a fierce friend, and a truly phenomenal woman, President Obama voiced America's admiration and respect for Maya Angelou, considered one of the world's most influential women of the last 50 years. She will be missed, but she will not be forgotten. She is a woman who stands way above all of us. She was, in many ways, a, a bridge that connected us with the past and toward the future. Angelo's childhood was reflected in her famous autobiography that became a movie, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. It detailed a life marred with the vicious racial discrimination of the South at that time. Among her accomplishments, Pulitzer Prize nominations, three Grammys, more than 30 honorary degrees, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom, plus a request to compose a poem for President Clinton's inauguration in 1993. Come, you may stand upon my back and face your distant destiny, but seek no haven in my shadow. Today in her passing, President Clinton praised Angelo, saying, quote, America has lost a national treasure. Despite her failing health, Angelo frequently turned to social media in recent months to post her thoughts. Her last tweet sent Friday sums up her inspirational mind. Listen to yourself, and in that quietude, you might hear the voice of God. Funeral arrangements are still in the works, as are plans for a memorial service by Wake Forest University, where Professor Maya Angelou taught for the last 32 years, mainly about American culture. In Winston-Salem, North Carolina, for CCTV, I'm Chris Clackham.